I searched for the worst game ideas on the internet to create them. There were some really strange but also very creative ideas. If you like videos like that, I thought I would make a series out of that. To support me, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also feel free to write me in the comments what that game ideas you have that don't make any sense but are funny. Let's go in. I found what I was looking for very quickly for the first game in this series. It is kind of a simulator, not one of those fun simulators where you run a farm for example or being a firefighter or policeman, no much better. The main task in this game is to check people's tax certifications. The best part? That is the best part. Let's get started. I've created a sketch that shows the structure of the game. We have the name, profile picture of the applicant, the income and the submitted costs. Then I sat down and recreated the layout I had in Godot, which worked better than I thought. To take away the monetary and to express the variety that this job brings with it, I have created different hair, eyes, nose and mouth for the customers. The profile pictures are randomly created and to top it all off, the colors of the hair and the t-shirts are also randomly generated. Like the rest of the game, the first name, surname and income are also randomly picked from a list. Since I didn't want to be selfish, I shared the fun of coming up with 40 names and surnames with a random website so that they could generate the names for me and put them in a list. The number for the income is... just a number and it's actually not relevant for the game and only serves as distraction. Now we come to the main part and therefore also the most fun part of the game, the list of costs that are deducted from tax. Since people are only human and occasionally makes a mistake, such as the last yacht they bought or the last time they went to the cinema, by mistake hidden on the tax return. There are people like you who check this. I've created a whitelist and a blacklist of things that are allowed and prohibited on tax return. To avoid taking all the fun out of creating data lists, I've completed these two lists myself. Each client submits two to four items that they want to deduct from their taxes. Then the player has time to shoot whether these are confirmed by a check mark or be declared as rejected by leaving them blank. The functionality behind this is actually quite simple. I saw. I created a function that looks over all the things to see whether the player has selected them as confirmed and whether they exist in the whitelist. If this is not the case, the player has failed this round. The same applies to the blacklist. However, after a very long time to find the problem, I noticed that the function that selected random items from the whitelist and blacklist was not a duplicate of this list. To avoid duplications for the things of each customer, I always deleted the entry from the list, but always from the original array. This means that the player could always simply press submit and the score simply went up. To increase the tension in the game even more, I added a timer so that the game is even closer to the actual job. The player must try to correctly check as many tax returns as possible within one minute. Each correct check is worth 10 points, otherwise 10 points are deducted. In the end, I don't think the idea of this game is bad at all. It has a challenging character and it's even a bit fun. What do you think of the game? Why don't you try it out yourself? You can find the link in the description below. Feel free to write me your high score in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos. Hopefully we'll see you again in the next video.